Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And in case you're new here, I want to let you know I upload two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description. But with that out of the way, we are back in the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game. And we are continuing our adventure as I eat another hard candy. And this time it is an orange jawbreaker, which is starting to grow on me and become uh, one of my favorite flavors. I was really not a big fan of Jawbreakers before I started eating them for this channel. But they've really grown on me. They're actually quite good. Even though I always thought they were, I don't know, a pretty low tier candy before this. Looks like we have... I think the clouds just blocked it out, but there's another shrine down there. Is that a shrine? That's definitely something over there. I will mark that for later. Okay, so I will grab my minecart and we'll continue on. This is where we're going to try to get to in this episode. That's the third shrine I need. I believe I'll unlock another power. And I will also um, unlock the ability to open the door to the, I think it's called the Time Temple. Where apparently Zelda is, but I have a feeling She's not actually going to be in there, but who knows. Upward and onward. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. I did not notice that. What happens when you die in this game? This is the first time I've died. That is also new too over there. I don't know what that is. Well, this video is off to a strong start. Okay, let's see. Should have known that was too obvious. something else. I guess I could 
assuming just use a hook. Yeah, there's enough space. There, maybe there is, but it's annoying that you have to cancel out every time you want to select something new. that it's touching the ground. Genius, maybe. Okay, we're making progress. sad. Taking the charges out of all these dead constructs. Okay, not 
down there. The island has connected down. Where is that? It looks like this island is on that. That thing. This is the cave I came out of. Goddamn, I'm an idiot. Okay, can I jump down? Okay, I can. Well, I'm glad I figured out that puzzle. For no reason. This is the cave I came out of, or is a different one? Oh, discovery. The pit cave. Well, maybe we won't make it to that shrine in this episode. Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will sif swiftly use vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? I think I've already made stuff, but don't listen to this guy. Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can advert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguard used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names. Any such ingredients will suffice. Some also wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective, but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one meal effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. Okay, I have some warm foods, but... Probably gonna have to cook a couple more. Five minutes, five minutes, okay. Is there anything further up this cave of interest? semi-focused, but this is intriguing me over here. Looks like some type of puzzle. Nice Korok seed. These were used to expand inventory slots in the last game, but I can't remember. That does 
doesn't sound good, okay. Oh shit. Well, in the future I should kill those with arrows. Not what I meant to do. The soldiers constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am, st I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Well, I'm assuming I'm about to come on to some of those. Yum. Nothing like some dubious food, okay. Easy peasy. Actually, crap, is there any flint? like these captains. Shit. to drop a bomb. Flame emitter club. Oh, we got some of these motherfuckers. assuming, or like hand grenades, I guess is a better way to phrase that. The bottomless cave. What are these? Bomb flower. Does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. Something's in here. I think 
It's one of those toad things. Yep, okay, see the bubble. Or the axolotl, I mean. So, oh, there you are. I feel bad killing these things. At least it turns into something else. Save to make in case I am stupid and fall through the floor here, which is definitely a possibility. Just a sec. A like-like stone. A strange round stone from a like-like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Can I pick up a chest with this? Nice. our journey my jawbreaker did just finish we're just gonna end the video when I finish that but we will get to the shrine hopefully and then probably call it a day there seems like we're getting pretty close but yeah if you made it to this point in the video I really really do appreciate it um oh god This isn't the only way to deal with them, because I'm out of 
the ability to freeze them. Shit. Okay, phew. That was close. A flame emitter shield. start with this one and then eat another one if we don't make it up in time but yeah if you've watched this far in the video I really do appreciate it having a higher watch time it really does help the channel a lot and hopefully that means you're enjoying my content which is uh, what's most important of all since I'm creating these videos for you I hope you found this relaxing and uh, hopefully at least a lot entertaining. Unless you're watching it to fall asleep, then I hope it was very boring. And uh, you're not hearing this because you're already sleeping. I never know. I mean, not that I really have much of a choice. But I never know how entertaining these videos are actually supposed to be. Because typically... When I watch ASMR, at least, I'm trying to go to sleep, and I guess the sounds are more important than anything. I rarely watch um, the video part of the video. I just listen, and most of the time I don't even, I guess, really even process what the ASMR artist is saying. So... Yeah, I don't even know if it matters what I'm saying, if you're even listening, or if you're more just uh, taking in the sounds, I guess, if that makes any sense. Okay, other vertical surfaces become slick when wet. So how the fuck are we going to get up there? I guess maybe we can make a ramp. should change to an axe for something like this. Okay. Let's see if this will work. resistance is about to wear off. Where's the five minute one? Einstein. My genius knows no bounds. Okay. Well, I guess we're not out of the woods quite yet. Oh, wait. 
Is that the shrine? Okay, what is that, that up there? Well, we'll go check that out quickly, and then we will end at the shrine. And then next episode, we can start with the shrine. sunset. Oh, this poor construct. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Huge upgrade. Got another dispenser. That looks like some type of flying device. Sick. I'll make sure you tune into the next one. It seems like it might be a good one. Also curious if they have anything hidden up here. It wouldn't surprise me with this game. Oh, it's a freaking Korok. I bet watch. Watch this. this episode besides the whole dying like a minute in also cannot wait to get the glider the glider will be sick okay We all examine it. Well, I guess I'll pause to not use up the rest of my cult resistance. Guess it won't matter since I'm going into the shrine. But as I've already said, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support. And I hope you'll come back to join me in the next one. But as always, good night.